And hey guys, today I am back in Sonic Speed Simulator and I'm going to be going over the new update and giving you a little guide to New York City, which is the new world that's just been introduced. So, there are a few big things in this world. Currently, there are two skins available. You can get the this New York style Knuckles and this New York style Sonic skin that you see right next to Nine here. Nine is the new quest giver, but you don't get his skin because he's already a skin. So, I'll go over Nine's quest line first. So, his first quest, Welcome to New York City. It's pretty easy. I would just auto run it in Green Hill. Now, rings around the block, same thing. Auto run it, it's a very easy quest. Anyone should be able to do it as long as you've done Emerald Hill. Now, dumpster diving, the quest where you destroy 200 drones, is really where you're going to have to start using some of the mechanics of this world to your advantage. So, this quest goes, you have to destroy these drones, you have 2 million health, which if you're using the chows from Dr. Eggman, it's just going to take a really long time. And this is into my next point about this world, it's introduced some new best chows. Personally, I would recommend you to just save up the rings and open the up to exotic egg. So this charged peach chow, 60% from the egg, is already, I think, better than the detective chow, which was the old best XP chow in the game. So level those up for an XP setup, or if you're desperate, you'll have to go for the pink wisps, which are the exotics from here, which are 0.9%, 25 million rings. You have to spend about 2.5 billion rings to get that. So I would just go with the charged peach. Now, the new best damage chows, these are the accessible ones. Um, at a mere level 20 for me, they're giving me plus 115k each. They're a big improvement over the riders chows. Now into these legendaries, this chow I believe will be the new best ring chow, the electric pink chow. This is the, I think, the best damage chow, doing e the electric white chow even better than the other ones. And then the new exotic, the pink wisp, is what I would call a very good all-rounder. Uh, the, the best at XP, very solid for damage, nearly matching the uh, beginner damage chows. And then pretty solid for rings, so if you want an all-round setup, just run three of those. But those will take ages to get. So th there's me going over the chows. So you're going to want a setup of, I would say, at least two of these damaged chows, which it might take you a bit of egg opening, but I got pretty lucky myself. Once you've got at least two of those, you're just going to want to cycle around the whole city and just kill off these drones. The standing ones have 2 million health, the flying ones have 1.5 million health, so flying ones will be slightly easier. They spawn all around the world, which gets me on to the world design. It's very focused on streets, and this world is also very focused on rails. Rails are one of the biggest mechanics, so you're going to have to learn the rail layout. And there's a lot of streets, and especially these cars here, a lot of them will have chaos orbs on top of them. So if you're running for XP, you're going to want to be going on these car things. So I wouldn't say this world's the best for XP. I would stick to either actively running in Emerald Hill... Or auto running in Green Hill because Lost Valley is insignificant and it's just not that good of a world in general. So, now, on to Nine's next quest, which is Rail Grind Recharge. These rail points, you earn them by just grinding on rails. What I would recommend doing is that there's just this big building here, which has a rail looping all around it. So I would just hop up to this rail here. Um, you get rail grind points if you have the quest to do so. Yeah, I would just grind along this rail and then jump over, get back on it, keep on grinding it until you've completed the quest. Rail grind points are also in Nine's adventure. So, now, Nine's final quest, Reach Your Prime, is what Knuckles used to have. His quest got changed to level 150 to accommodate this because level 250, unless it's going to be this fifth world, which we see the portal here, is a bit unreasonable. So getting to level 200 shouldn't be too difficult if you if you can just consistently do Knuckles and Tails adventure. Sonic's adventure is optional, but that's more just for the boosts. Uh, he becomes quite insignificant after a while. So those are all are Nine's quests, and I'll go on to talk about his adventure. Adventure, at least the one I have right now, it gives you 75 red rings. Uh, this is at base. Base, first adventure, 75 red rings, 
60 million rings and 20 billion XP, which is a heavy improvement over Knuckles. And it'll give you a 20 minute of one of the boosts, or all of them, if you get really lucky. Now, onto another thing about this world, the time trials. They are quite expensive. The first one falling in at 30 million, the second one at 60 million, and time trial 3 at 100 million. I still haven't unlocked time trial 3 because I've been putting my rings more towards the eggs to try and get the new chows. But the time trials are there pretty solid. Time trial 3 might become the new best way to get rings. I don't know because you get 40 million no, is, that, is that 40 million? No, that's 4 million rings every time. So with a few calculations, that should be around 240 million rings an hour if you're doing it efficiently. Though I think running with the new chows on auto run, as long as you've got them fused, should be a much better method. So the time trials have, will be, have been went over. They're pretty solid time trials, though they rely a lot on boosters. So, if you see any boosts on the track, try not to miss them, because chances are they will lead into your next checkpoint. And that's about it for this world. Uh, I'll go over the next world once it comes in the game. This is a nice new world. It's inspired by the Eggman taken over city. Um, and I've told you how to complete it. I've given you a guide to the quest. So, I will see you next time when I'm back on Sonic Speed Simulator. Goodbye, guys.